All right, so we're going to track an example playing out live. I'm just going to put a stick here. We're going to assume that this is going to be a daily and a 15 long position. And currently the open of this candle is bearish. But the reason why I'm saying it's going to end up closing as a bullish candle is because the four hour blue wave is just breaking anchor. So I'm saying it's going to carry on carry on longing and that's going to push the daily candle to close bullish even though it's currently looking bearish it's making the bottom wick of the daily candle so what we want to do is knowing the directional bias for the daily candle is going to close blue because of the four hour wave breaking anchor we're going to then look for an entry on the daily on the 15 minute time frame which it is doing right now so you want to have a daily 15 relong. Let me just move that over. Um, so we're waiting for this to confirm and then to enter. So this is this is the daily open. So you want to buy below the open if you're longing, but you also want to be buying not only below the open when the blue wave is anchoring. And if you're not sure if it's going to be um, a multi anchored wave before it breaks back up what we're gonna do it we're gonna wait for these uh, candles to come back up to the 8 EMA this line is the 8 EMA we're looking for a blue candle to close above the 8 EMA so 50% or more of the blue candles body needs to close above this 8 EMA and then we'll say that that's gonna be um, the bottom wick of the daily candle and that's when you're going to enter the long position. Um, so we'll wait for that to happen. And what you want to do is, if that is the case, you'll be entering on the bottom wick of the daily candle and you're going to ride it to the close. Uh, that would be about here. So give me a second. So that would be the next day. The next day's open, right? So that's what we're trying to do. We don't know how um, big or small the daily candle is going to be. That's not the point. We can't determine that. We just want to enter on the wick and ride it to the body close. It doesn't matter that there's another wick there or not. That's just getting the directional bias and the correct entry. We're going to wait until we get this daily 15 anchor and the body of a blue candle, more than 50% of it, closing across the AEMA. We're going to mark that up as an entry. And then we are going to return to this once it's played out uh, to see what has occurred. Boom. That is what we wanted. So I'll just show you. This we wouldn't consider. Obviously this blue candle here. Not 50% of the body of the candle closed above the EMA. But this second candle was more than 50% of a body close above the EMA. So what you'd say then is that um, basically you know that the, the daily paired up with the 15 anchor entry, like the anchor is in, um, it gives you a good guide rope to say that it's not going to multi anchor and keep pushing price down where you're catching a falling knife uh, to long the position. So um, the safest entry is to wait for this to close. When the candle closes with more than 50% across the AEMA, when price is under the daily open, a 15 minute wave was anchoring, coming back on anchor. You enter because the anchor is now confirmed to be in. Usually, I mean, it's not perfect. I've seen cases where sometimes it can still come back and re-anchor, but it's a good way to, you know, cut out a lot of the multi-anchoring noise using the AEMA. Um, the safest stop would obviously be the low um, in terms of the structure, but we won't advise you on a stop um, or the size of your risk or for the equity. So um, just going like that, I just want to show you um, early in the day when we started making the video, uh, the daily candle is obviously red. And now if we move there, you can see the daily candle has flipped blue. Like I said, it was, I'm just going to delete this. It was going red because it was forming the bottom wick of the daily candle and we would be entering on this wick on the daily candle assuming it's going to close bullish so it did do that so this anchor break 
this anchor break is actually the wick of the daily candle. This is the body open of the candle, wherever it's going to close. That would be your take profit wherever the candle closes by, you know, tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning, our time. We don't know how high or low that's going to be, but the long bias would give you a profit off this entry if it does close bullish tomorrow. Boom, it's a new day. So our daily candle closed bullish. Remember, this is where we were entering on the blue candle 50% of the body closing above the AEMA only underneath the open because we're trying to catch the wick of the daily candle and off the anchor how do you know that the anchor is done when price is crossing over the AEMA so this is basically and this is the close because okay, the only thing obviously it's a really small daily candle we'll zoom out to the daily uh, shortly let me just illustrated for you so this is the body of the daily candle okay that's your upper wick of the daily candle and that's your lower wick sorry that's really badly drawn but this is basically what our daily candle looks like okay so and this is the thing you want to catch you want to catch the wick on the daily candle and because you know what your directional bias is for the daily candle to close you know it's going to close bullish so you can literally hold it up until the close Obviously, there was a better exit, you know, whilst the candle was still open. Um, but the point is, it's a profitable trade, okay? So if you can keep on, okay, so it's like a 1x. If you had literally waited for that candle to close and swung on, assuming, I don't know where you're going to put your stop. I can't help you with your stop. Some people are going to be very aggressive. That's, you know, up to your risk tolerance and that. And you would have held it up until the close. So the point is, you just want to keep on... Um, getting your directional bias correct and then from there you can hold it or close it um or you know risk less or more based on whatever your tolerance is but we can help you with the directional bias of your entry um as well as getting the sniper entry itself so um that's what we're looking at so it is hidden bullish divergence which is the lightning bolt long okay it's a re-entry with the trend it's telling you that this is a valid pullback in an uptrend so you can re-enter how do you know that the anchor's finished breaking 50 percent or more of the blue candles crossing over the eight ema and um that's it your directional bias is assumed to be long i'm just going to remove all of these drawings i'm just going to remove the ema as well i want to show you the daily candle so that was our candle right we entered maybe halfway up the wick and we rode it to the close and that was your well depending on your stop whatever your 1x if you're more aggressive maybe more i don't know um how to advise you with a stop but i can help you with the directional bias and with the entry so that is that is it that's how we're going um, so I hope that clears up any confusion around whether or not, um, you know, a 15 minute is multi hump anchoring and you're catching a falling knife before it breaks. How do you know where to enter? Hopefully the AMA, um, with the candle crossing clears that up for you guys.